here's the introduction I'm gonna try to take off a Max Orta just taped on little lip spoiler um, it's kind of coming up in a few spots it's not loose it's just double-sided taped on but I got the new a90 Delta wing and carbon fiber and I am gonna try to get that installed I have a big fear that the paint is gonna come off this hatch when I try to pull this up it's very soft paint it's just painted on plastic I've heard horror stories I'm gonna give it a shot I know I might have to have a repaint on the trunk hatch but let's just hope I don't if I do get some paint peel I'm kind of hoping it's under the tape that's on there and I'll actually just put the max order wing right back on um, to salvage it so I'm gonna put the camera here on top of the car facing down at my work as I do it and we'll just see what happens as I slowly lift it up now I've had it I'm down here in Florida I've had it in about 90 degrees Sun super bright Sun all day long it is hot too almost too hot to the touch so I know the tape is thoroughly loose. I don't need to add heat to it or anything. Um, and it's nice even heat. So we'll see how it goes as I work it off. Let's see what happens. So basically, it's just a real slow, even pressure. And when I get it about three eighths of an inch, half inch pulled off, the tape is sometimes still stuck and I'm just scoring it with a blade um, to make it tear easier. I don't care if tape's left on the car, the solvents and stuff and rolling it off will take care of that. So just an even steady pressure. All right, I was pretty successful. The, the front part here came off real easy. It, I don't think it was on very good, but that back part was really on tight. Um, I think I successfully got it off without pulling any paint up, surprisingly. I don't see any rub marks. Um, this leftover tape I'm gonna just pull and roll see how this is it's coming off nice and easy and then what I'm gonna do is because this is all old contaminated dust and stuff under here, I'm gonna go wash the back end of this and then I'm gonna use some safety body solvent and remove any glue residue and I'm gonna make sure it's really clean and I'm gonna go ahead and do clay bar and wax the rear hatch here after I get all that cleaned up I'll show you the new mounts for the new wing and we'll go from there all right wing is off washed it to get rid of the contaminants and dust uh, next thing I'm gonna do because I didn't want to rub on it while I had all that dust and grit is this is a little uh, this is a little glue residue here and I'm gonna use uh, some safety body solvent body shop safe won't hurt paint takes wax off and I'm gonna clean, uh, basically I'm gonna clean the whole back trunk, even around the emblem. Probably down here, there's some little black specks and stuff, some wash up from the tar or whatever on the road. And then I'm gonna take with some spray uh, body cleaner and uh, I'll show you, I'm actually gonna do a um, clay bar. I'm gonna use synthetic clay bar and clean this whole area. And then I'm gonna polish this with, with the buffer to make sure no scratches and stuff, make sure it looks good. 
that safety body solvent really makes that glue dissolve and just come right off. No need to clay bar or use one of these eraser wheels. I actually think guys that I got this wing off without damaging the paint. I was very fearful that I might chip the paint or pull the paint up on these plastic wing, plastic deck lid here. So I got very lucky. Uh, sorry, but I forgot to show the clay bar process. I just use my speed shine, the blue stuff, and the clay bar. I go both directions this way and this way. I did the whole back glass. I did this whole piece and I did this side. And then now I'm getting ready to wax and I don't like to get wax on the black, flat black. I don't want to stain it or buff it or polish it out any more, you know, than necessary. Um, I don't go around the emblems. The wax doesn't leave much residue. I use a black, nice soft foam pad with an orbital buffer. I use the liquid poly wax. You can see it in some of my older videos of me doing some, you know, summer cleaning on some of the cars, um, how it comes out. Uh, but yeah, it's looking really, really good. I think it's going to be fine and ready once I um, take the wax off to uh, start installing the spoiler. All right. Buffed out i think it's almost perfect i don't see any really scratch lines the only line that i have that's going to be covered by the new brace is this and if you're wondering what this is from it's from the edge of the spoiler and it would heat and expand in the heat in a downward motion and it would carve in there so some days i would come out when it's cold and you couldn't see it you know, and then at the end of the heat day, sometimes you could see it. So it moved more than a quarter inch from expanding and contracting. That's one reason why a lot of these wings like that are taped down. So here's a little trick. After you've clay barred and waxed, if you want to see if you got all the contaminants, just take a regular good old store bought thank you bag and run your hand, put your hand inside of it like a glove and rub over the surface and you will feel any contaminants. So like, I only did the trunk hatch and when I go over to this fender, it actually feels gritty. Like I can feel like sandpaper grit type of, because I haven't done it, uh, clay bar this car in a couple months, you know what I mean, and drove it a lot, so. And then this can also feel for any tape residue left over real easy without even looking, and I have none. So, next thing I'm gonna do is Decide on the inside liner if I'm going to pop it out, the screws are going to show or not. If I don't, There's no installation instructions, so this is going to be your instructions for installing that spoiler.